Hello and welcome to Smart Plant Construction 2015 R1. What you're seeing is the home page for Smart Plant Construction. There's about nine key environments here on the home page that will come into play from using the application. The first and foremost is the work packaging environment. This is an environment where you'll create, maintain, and track your work packages. This environment can be used from a touch screen uh, mode, uh, just like you would use on your iPhone, etc. You can take a thumbnail view, you can take a detailed view of the items, you can color code the items as you see here to see those things which uh, have all the constraints met, those which have not met all the constraints for execution, and those that may have engineering changes associated with this. So this is a very key environment that's going to allow you to search and sort the work packages based on a wide variety uh, of criteria, one of the key environments in smart plant construction. Another key environment are, are both the models environment and the drawings environment, and these are going to be used as paradigm for actually populating packages. So you'll actually navigate into the model, you can use the view control uh, to navigate the model, or you can actually use filtering capabilities to filter the model based on a wide variety of criteria, based on discipline, based on the assemblies that may, may exist uh, within the model, based on the drawings uh, that may exist in the model, based on material availability, etc., and so on. And you can customize your own filters uh, based on uh, external data sources uh, that, that, that are applicable uh, to the data that you're navigating in the model. So a key environment, uh, an immersed environment uh, that allow you to, to use the 3D model uh, for packaging via drag and drop mechanisms. So this is a, a, a real productive interface uh, for populating your work packages. Another key area is drawings. This will be the where you actually use the drawings himself, navigate those drawings, interrogate those drawings, uh, jump to the models, uh, et cetera, to the packages that they may already reside in, show the work steps associated with those particular components. Uh, so another key environment being the drawing environment. And of course, on any work packaging, you're gonna have all types of documents, standard installation details, checklist, safety documents that all will be applicable to your work packages that you'll need to have at your fingertips for packaging. Material availability is one of the key constraints of work packaging and uh, this interface provides a real-time query into your material management system to give you indication of what you have, what you don't have, and where in fact it is and when you've got insufficient quantities etc. and so on associated with the materials for work packaging. Reporting is always very important. Uh, we deliver a lot of off-the-shelf reports by discipline, by CWP, packages, uh, by commissioning system, by drawing, etc. and so on. So reports that can be directed to PDF or Excel key environment. Also the dashboard capability to expose key information to executives uh, and construction superintendents uh, such as crew load reports, such as work breakdown by, by contractor or, or contract uh, and by discipline, et cetera, and so on, and the capability to build your own uh, dashboard items. The work package schedule interface, very important interface that's going to allow you to see how your work packages are laid out over time, what are the predecessor and the successor relationships between those and to be able to, to, to optimize uh, and to enforce those dependencies real time uh, within the, the application itself uh, so that you can uh, optimize your schedule uh, of the various work packages uh, over time. Uh, another key area is the component registry uh, area and this is the mechanism for packaging those items that are not modeled or not existent in a drawing such as cable pull schedules or even instrument lists and equipment lists. 
termination schedules and those type of inputs and it works very much the same you just simply drag and drop the items uh, onto the packages so this is the overall basic interface for smart plant construction